Good afternoon, it's 120. You probably can't see, I can't see, I'm wearing sunglasses. It's like 72 degrees outside, and um, um, I don't really know anything else. Welcome to the video. For those people attending Hudson Public Schools, today is the last day of summer. School starts tomorrow. That sucks. I have until next Monday for everybody asking the 27th. Here's one I start at Kent. Um, here's kind of the hardest part of the day. I gotta pick one of these to wear. And uh, then I think Ken and I are gonna go get lunch and then go to the pool. It's cool, but maybe we'll go do some sun and, uh, and get in the hot tub or something. I don't know. I don't know. So you'll find out when I do. Sam and Michael and Brady and Kenan and everybody that I know around here that's starting school tomorrow, good luck. I think it's your guys' junior or senior year, Kenan, your senior year. Make it count. Trust me, it will fly by. I remember when I went into high school as a freshman, everybody said, oh, it's your freshman year. Are you excited? I'm like, no, not really. It's going to suck. And uh, everybody said it's going to go by really quickly. The next thing you know, you will have graduated. And I cannot begin to describe to you how true that is. The last four years feel like six months. And if you asked me that in the middle of sophomore year, I would have been like, feels like it's been 10 years. This sucks. Get me out of here. But you know what? Junior and senior year were awesome. And uh, honestly, I wish I could go back and do my college credit work at the high school with all of those people in that setting. But I can't. And uh, the same thing applies for now. I'm thinking the next four years at Kent, oh, it's going to suck. It's going to take forever. And in four years or two years when I graduate from there uh, and go on to do whatever, uh, I'll probably make the same clip, providing we're on day 2000 or whatever that will be. So uh, hang in there. Enjoy it while it lasts. It'll be fun, I promise. So I mentioned the other day when I washed the car, I used um, that Zeno stuff on the plastics. I actually took the trim pieces off and stuff. And this is what I would like it to look like. It's nice black. It's a little shiny. But over here, I haven't been able to get that stuff off, and it looks like hell. It looks like it's absorbed into that. And I may take it off and, and try it again or use something else. But does anybody know any products that I can blacken that up again? Because it's just something has absorbed in there, and I don't like that. So let me know if I can use anything. Looks dark, but that's because we're inside Kenan's garage. And this car barely fits in here because this, this is all Kenan's stuff that he keeps in here. No, okay, maybe not. But anyways, 211, we're gonna go get something to eat. And 76 degrees, I guess that could be cool lounging weather. I don't know yet. Um, we'll find out with time, I guess. I don't know how Kenan is going to fit his S550 in here. I mean, the garage isn't that big, but if the M5 is... I guess there's a little bit of room behind me, but not too much. So we'll have to figure out how to fit the S-Class in here, right? Well, hello! Nice! Two shakes and about 40,000 fries later. <clears throat> Came to B-Spot to avoid rain. It's all going south of us. So uh, we're going to have to hang up here for a little while until it's dry again, but how was your shake? You got the uh, apple pie bacon batter fat shake. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I got the uh, vegetarian chocolate shake. We are at Porsche of uh, Beechwood. They got an LFA in an interesting color. Uh, let's see, we saw one in LA in Beverly Hills. We saw one in Detroit. Um, did Cleveland have one? I don't remember if Cleveland had one. That's nice, but I would rather have this. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. 80, late 80s. <clears throat> the bumper guards can go though. The bumper guards on the 911 can go. The interiors have come a long way, though. So. Yeah. And the back seat. <laughs> I would never fit back there anymore. Look at the. You've got to be like a foot high to sit back there. <laughs> Come in, Cleveland. This is awesome music. This is really not Cleveland music that we've got here. Bobby, you should know what this is. We've got a beautiful city over here and a beautiful day. We're actually escaping the rain right now at Beachwood. We had to get a bit of water there. 
Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah. But we've got the Echo on and the M5 on the DSP. It sounds excellent. I know everybody hates opera. I can take it. I love it. Yeah. It's it's different. But we're coming into the city now from 90. I usually don't come in this way. There's big uh, Burke Lakefront Airport. Mm -hmm. That's where the uh, air show will be in a month or so. Hunt down the red stripe. It's out there somewhere. Hi. Hi. Downtown Cleveland, more opera. This time, uh, Antonio and Andre, 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 Yes. yes. Andrea and, uh, the woman, Sarah Brightham. <laughs> and the woman. <laughs> yeah. So, if it will be heard. Okay, it is 2.10 in the morning. Talking with Trevor and Colt, we've been here for an hour and 49 minutes in this call, about five calls before that. Um, anybody want to explain what we've been doing? Go ahead, Colt. I think you handled this from Trevor. Uh, we have been uh, working, what, of course, with Tech Inform. And well, improving stuff and making stuff. Yeah, well, we got the registration form done and stuff like that. Uh, got some stuff done on Tekken form behind the scenes, and uh, I've been playing Pac-Man. Colt's been playing Pac-Man. Trevor's been doing the grunt work, and I've been helping him. Um, as I mentioned before, we got this link over here. Well, we just made a new form with Google, so it now goes here, where you uh, apply to become a writer. We restructured all of our Google account information. Got Google Drive going on. Um, Google Docs is now Google Drive, as you know, so uh, all of that is set up and it works a lot better now. And uh, that is all I have to say for today. It's 2.10 in the morning, i got to get up fairly early tomorrow, so I'm going to wrap this up now. Uh, I don't think I left anything untied. If not, well, figure it out, Google it, and don't ask me questions because I don't want to answer them. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in 6.19. Good night.